Hello friends. I am here in my office, just doing my thing. I'm actually doing my Christmas cards and I think I'm ready to mail them. Do you guys wanna see our Christmas cards? I really wish I could send one to every one of you, but I can't. But if you want one, I do have extras. I think I'm gonna send some to the some people that I have sent to them before and have addresses for, but I do have extras. If you're one of our regular followers, we can send you one if you wanna get a card from us. I might have to send it to you in a blank envelope so you don't know our address. <laughs> but um, it's been fun to like work on these family photos and get them out in the mail today. I also have donations to take. Uh, I cleaned out some closets, so I've got clothes to donate. Ashley, what else do we have to do today? Oh, we have your Christmas gifts mm -hmm. for your friends, right? Mm -hmm. Should we show them those? Sure. And then I am just kind of in a dump. I don't know, like I just... A stupor. I'm in a stupor. Kind of feeling like I'm not depressed, but like I'm just, I'm not motivated. And I have a million Christmas presents to start wrapping, but the kids are all here all day long. I want to wrap some not mine, but theirs. I like to just get them all done in one day. And so I like to do it with Jason too, but he doesn't have a day off this week. But we're getting down to the wire. We have like two weeks left before Christmas. Exactly two weeks left before Christmas. So I kind of need to get on the ball on that and, also and winter break. Yes. So let me show you my Christmas card because I got creative. I got a Groupon deal through, I think, Photo... What is it? Photo Affections. Normally I don't mind writing our name and our address on the envelope, but this year I was like, you know what? Five bucks. Just let them do it. So And it turned out really cute. I can't show you the address. I'm going to show you our name on it, but I can't show you our address. But our card, I got creative because they had COVID cards and I was all for those ones. And so, got a little funny with our card, just a little bit, you know, gotta still be festive. All right, first of all, before I show you the card, it's kind of fun, we got um, holiday stamps. So that's kind of fun. Here's our Christmas card and it's so cute. The longest year ever. <laughs> and then it says, cheers to 2021 from the Browns. So I just thought it was really fun. This is from our photo session that Jason's dad did with us. The kids all were in the tree. And literally, you guys, there was not a single photo that was good with both Jason and I down here on the ground with the tree and everything behind. But I really loved this view. And I thought, you know what? It's different. This year is different. We're not doing anything normal. And Jason is a kid at heart. And so I was like, you know what? Leave him in the tree with the girls. Anyway, I just thought this card was really cute. And then, like I said, they had self-addressed our, our envelopes. This is the first time I've ever done that and paid for it. But you know what? It was worth it. It turned out really cute. And then it says the address down here below. All right, so these are the gifts that the kids are going to give to their friends. I've got to still modify them. They have one friend who has a peanut allergy. So she does not have... Oh, this one right here doesn't have any candy in it. So I've got to go find her a peanut free candy. I can't even do like Hershey Kisses because they're made in a factory with peanuts and she has like a high. She's already been in the ER once this year so we don't want to put her back in the ER. But Ashley is getting candy canes. Yeah. Right? So we have little bath bombs in each bag and also we need something for a boy because I know boys can use bath bombs but these are pretty girly ones. Yeah. And then the we just filled, filled it with candy. And then Ashley's going to put a candy cane in each one of them. All right. One candy cane per bag, Ash. So then we're just going to tie it with a ribbon and I say we deliver them after school is out. Next Friday is when you're out of school. Yeah. Kid gifts are ready to go. We should also do some teacher ones, but I'm not sure how to get them their present. Yeah. Because they're not, I should have done it and dropped it off when I got your supplies yesterday. Because I don't think they're having another drop off. Until next month. Yeah, which is in January. Yeah. So, not that I don't think the teachers deserve something any other year. I have done teacher gifts other years, but just haven't put as much effort or thought into it unfortunately you know but this year oh my God, at least these two elementary school I'm trying to find my shoes these elementary teachers have been like killing it Chelsea has two teachers one of them is out on maternity leave Ashley where's my shoes so we did get one for her Ashley remembered that we got one from the dollar store when we went the other day right all right so we also got candy for gingerbread houses you guys want to see what we got so this is what we got for our gingerbread houses and you have to remember that Chelsea can you just wait one second I'm done with can I just tell them this really quick and then you can make your tortilla okay can you, my cheese? you can grate your cheese just give me a second <laughs> okay 
their kits come with candy too and they're all like holiday themed but i wanted to get we always need extra so we got just the straight candy canes because they work better to like do on the houses and whatnot and then i thought it would be fun to have these little snow capped just think they're gonna look cute on the gingerbread houses or on the snow or something and then we got these cute little gummy trees and then the white peppermint breath mints are good for like a pathway or a roof and same with these can these gum candies we used these last year and they work really good for pathways and for roof tiles or so you can do like red and white or you can do all white and then another one that was cute was someone did um like the green and pink so I got two packages of those. So that one will go far. Mm -hmm. And then last year I did these Smarties as my roof, but I only got one package and it wasn't enough. So I got two, but I haven't found my house yet. So I haven't found my gingerbread house or Jason's. Jason was actually upset last year that I didn't get him a house. And so I have the kit from Target that has four mini houses in it. And it was the perfect size for them to like be able to put a lot of candy on it and get it done in a decent amount of time. I feel like the big houses take a little bit extra time and I don't mind taking that extra time but the kids kind of get bored with it and I don't like them getting bored with a fun Christmas project. So I like the smaller houses. Last year I got a barn and I think I got it from Michael's or Hobby Lobby and I just haven't looked for those yet. I just want to get something unique. I like to have something different. So I haven't found my house. I know if there was a truck, I might actually get a truck, but I haven't seen one yet. So Chelsea, we're going to make a tortilla for lunch, correct? Yes, but I need help. And Chelsea's wearing a new sweatshirt that her sister sanded down. How many times did your sisters wear this sweatshirt? Zero times. So Chelsea kind of has an advantage when her sisters don't like something yeah. I buy them. They stick still it in the back. Yeah, it's still a little big, but the rest of it fits good. She has the advantage sometimes. I have a whole bag of donations of stuff that is completely worn out from her older sisters. There's it's no there's no point in trying to pass that stuff down when they don't want to wear something. Chelsea gets like brand new stuff that's, that's never been worn. Like randomly. Middle of Christmas season she gets a new sweatshirt and I can't like pull it off and make it a new gift because my kids like to take tags off before they tell me oh I didn't really like it. So Hang on, I gotta find the mask. Thank you. Here's a word of the wise. Don't sit in your car before you're going into the grocery store and watch videos of like people taking, I don't know. I'll have to put a link to this video I just watched <laughs> if I can. It's about like finding this nurse crying on the side of the curb in a parking lot and she just was having a hard day and they gave her their superhero cake that they were gonna take to a birthday party to thank her for all the hard, hard work. Don't watch like feel good videos <laughs> when you're having to like go into public. <sighs> anyway. You gotta go to the grocery store now. Oh, wipe away my tears. Is that Evelyn in the flesh? It is me. Wow. I know, shocking. Eh? Shocking. So I wanted to come outside. I, you didn't even get pulled out. No. Not even bribed? I didn't nope. bribe you. Where were you? You said that she's going long for I'm like, I'll come with. Okay. <laughs> is that Chelsea that's on the board or was it you? Oh, me. Oh, I thought it was Chelsea. <laughs> Like from a distance, from way back there. We're gonna have a really good dinner tonight. It's a Taco Bell recipe, but it's gonna be good. It's like a ta it's like a taco. Yes, the 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 crunch. Crunch up supreme. Yeah, something like that. The real reason why those girls are outside, which I'm glad that they are. Don't get me wrong. See this pod that's right here. Oh, I'm just moving. See that pod right there? 
our new neighbors moved in. We have a bunch of new neighbors. A bunch of our houses were sold or renters moved out. And yesterday we spent two hours helping these neighbors move in and then two hours hanging out with them and talking to them because they've basically been quarantined while they packed up their old house in California, drove here in two or three of their cars and then ha waited in a hotel for some of their stuff to show up and then moved into their house. So they basically went by themselves. So I was like, I kind of feel safe being in their home. We kind of stayed on our little corner because they gave us pizza for helping it move in. But they have four boys. I'm just going to leave it at that. They have four boys. The youngest is 11 and the oldest is in college. There's some teenagers in the in the middle there. So I think that's why the girls are outside. They have new motivation. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> that's all I'm gonna say. Okay, I went to the grocery store, but I am gonna make, I like I, you heard me tell Kaylee, this Taco Bell like wrap thing. So I've got little mini shells, some lettuce, and I got, I'll show you what I've got. All right, so this is what I'm gonna make for dinner tonight. Taco Bell's Crunch Wrap Supreme. And I got the idea from Jacqueline Hills. I think she has like a vlog channel now. <laughs> so she made these, yeah, the Crunch Wrap Supreme from Taco Bell. So she made these in a video and compared them to Taco Bell's actual ones. She went and picked one up and compared it. And I like could not even believe <laughs> How good they look. It looked so good. So I got the ingredients. I got, well, I just got regular salad for Chelsea. I think she's been missing salad. But I got the shredded lettuce. I know I could have gotten like a head of iceberg lettuce, but whatever. It is what it is. We're gonna show you what I got here. Okay, so yeah, I got the lettuce. They had this salami on manager discount, 50% off. I like to eat salami during the holidays with like cheese and crackers and things like that. Then I got taco seasoning. Oh, hi. Hello. We're doing, do you want to say hi again? Evelyn, here. Her grand debut. Evelyn. Hi. Okay. You guys going to hang out upstairs? Yeah. So, taco seasoning, which I need for this recipe. And then I used my ranch, my last ranch packet with my last Hawaiian chicken rice haystacks recipe. And then I got some Mexican style shredded cheese. This is Abby's, one of Abby's favorite meals. And she likes to make her own meal. And so I figured they were like on sale for 79 cents or 69 cents or something like that for the first four. Our kids, we get two of these bunches of bananas from Costco every week and they're gone before we go back to Costco. And I really need to go to Costco tomorrow, but they want bananas. Sour cream for this recipe. Normally don't get these kinds of things, but it looks so good. And this is the actual Taco Bell's mild sauce. It's $2, it's on sale. So I was like, let's try it. I mean, it's gonna be good because of this. Now this is a surprise for Jason. Sometimes when he watches my videos, he doesn't actually watch. He just turns it on and he supports my channel. Don't get me wrong. But maybe if he's not in it or if it's not extra funny, he just turns it on and he sits it on the counter and he walks away from it and just lets it play, which helps my numbers. Don't get me wrong. But let's just see if he watches this video. If he watches this in comments, we'll know he watched. Also, just a side note. We don't drink alcohol. This is not going to be an actual Bacardi. What are they, I don't even know what you make, daiquiri. It's not. If Jason watches, he can leave it in the comment. He can tell you guys what we're going to make with this Bacardi mix. I got Jason a snack. He goes to the freezer every day looking for a snack now that he doesn't have any more pumpkin pie, but he loves frozen grapes. So, those are on sale. So I got four packages of the grapes. Then I got regular jelly meat. Did I already show you the deli meat? Then I got mini tortillas. So you use the big ones and the little ones for these little wraps. More grapes, more grapes. And we start the season of oranges. I love that Christmas time brings fruit in season for us here in the Northwest. That is like so fresh. I love oranges at Christmas time. That's it. That's all we got. Alexa, play Christmas music on Pandora. Christmas radio from Pandora. Okay, so we've got our taco meat here. We're gonna make our dinner. And guess what? We don't have any taco shells. Everyone ate them. All the tortilla shells are gone. Jason has to stop on his way home and grab some for me, but he's on his way. So I've got taco seasoning here. We're gonna add into the meat. Let that cook down for just a bit. 
All right, we've got all of our non-refrigerated ingredients right here, ready to go. Remember, I got these at the dollar store the other day. Got our sauces. Got cheese and lettuce in the fridge still, and we'll pull those out when we're ready to go. All right, Jason just got home. We got our tortilla shells, and him and I are the only ones who are gonna eat this way, but maybe Kaylee will. But I've got all the ingredients out. Abby got tomatoes out because she made it a different way, but that's okay because we're gonna do it this way. And the nice thing with this kind of, these ingredients is that you can kind of make your own style. All right, we've got our meat on our shell and I've warmed up some cheese sauce. Ha! And you drizzle some on there. This is good. <laughs> okay. Then we're gonna put a little bit of cheese on, on there. Uh-huh. Can't ever have too much cheese, no. correct? Okay, Jason is doubting my I'm not doubting it. Recipe. No, no. Okay, so then you put a little shell on here, the hard ones. And then you take some sour cream. And we're gonna spread it all over that. Put it on yours, Jace. Okay, then we're gonna spread the sour cream. Oh, yeah, every bite has to have some on there. That's the idea. So I need a little bit more. And Jason is not one for sauce, but you need to trust me. He needs more. You just have to know how to spread it. No, you don't, you need you more look on Look at there. that, that's all over. Oh, you're gonna... Uh, you need more. So what do we do? Okay, I'm gonna wipe off my extra here. Okay, then we're going to put lettuce on, on top. Oh, so then you put some sauce. We got our- Is that hot sauce? No, it's mine. I'm not having any of that. I'm gonna try it, I'm gonna be daring. I'm gonna put it on half of it. What is it? It's just a hot sauce. Oh. It's not like hot, it says it's mild. Dad's just picky. I don't like spicy. I'm gonna do a little bit on one little bit. Yeah. Taste it first, see if it is. It'll be okay. I'm gonna do a little bit. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna branch out here. Okay. Maybe I could do a little bit more cheese. Yeah. <laughs> that can't. You can't go wrong, right? Okay. Then you take one of these little shells. Between then... these tortillas and uh, my potato pancakes, we start our own uh, cooking channel. Um. No. <laughs> no. No. Here, you open this. So we've got all this going on. Okay, we're gonna put this guy on top. He's just like a cover, okay? Okay, then we're gonna take our shell, if you can see this, and we're going to wrap it up and over. Oh, I ripped it, dang it. Okay. You gotta be careful. Mm-hmm. You flip it over? Nope, you just start wrapping it up oh, yeah. like that. Like the bottom okay. of the And I should've thought about this. I know how to do it, I'm doing it. You're, he's doing it, he's got it. Okay, then we're gonna take this and face, we're gonna take it and face plant it down onto the pan. Yeah, it's called flipping it over. Right. <laughs> onto the pan, and then we're gonna cook it up. I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna flip it. I've got all olive oil there. I'm gonna kind of fold it onto itself. Oh, that didn't fold. It's It'll fine. be good. Just squish it kinda, around. I know, but, my, oh, you just unfolded it more. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. <laughs> I'm gonna squish mine under there more. Oh, come on. Okay, we're gonna leave it on there for a second. Okay, Jason's not helping. I'm burning mine. You should okay. pay attention. There we go. All right. It looks good. So there's the underside. Does that look okay? Yes. Now Jason's gonna try his. Oh, right on this is what this is what it looks like when you properly fold it. Shut up. <laughs> quit, quit. This is what happens when you follow a recipe. <laughs> recipe. Yeah. Anyone? Oh, what is that? That's what is what, that? Uh, You're not a pro, dude. You can't just go off of your own no, little. I, I believe in the Ratatouille movie chef guy where it says anyone can cook. Some anyone can't. Anyone can be a chef. Someone, some can't. <laughs> no, no, I was doing good. I cooked them. They just weren't what I thought they were going to be. I know. I'll make them and we'll see. Yeah, all right. We'll take them. Yeah, it's going to be. Oh, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. That is a perfect wrap. Yes, you have a better wrap than I do. It's like it's like a little Asian star. <laughs> okay. Meanwhile, mine. Look at that, man. That looks delicious right there. All right, here's Jason's. He likes it, right? Yeah, it looks really good. Okay, I want to get you trying a bite. Okay, is it hot? You just oh, no. <laughs> find out. Is it good? Mm. Fun little texture to it. He yeah. Likes it. Good. That looks good. Okay. 
Wow. It's pretty good, huh? Mm-hmm. Good job, huh? That's really good. What's it called? Taco Bells. I said it at the beginning. Put it up on the, on the screen, Dana. I don't know. I'm gonna call it a Mexican Chinese star. <laughs> That's what I'm calling it. It's not a good thing to do. It's real good. It is good. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna eat mine. I'm gonna stop filming. Okay, here's a little behind the scenes. I had this all staged right here for a good thumbnail picture, and then I ate my <laughs> thing too fast. So now I'm making one for Kaylee really quick so that I can get a photo of it. So. Okay, quick question before we end our night. Anyone know how to get the water I think from stopping? Let's just see if that, oh, that overflows. I think if that overflows, we have a problem. You have like a full on drinking fountain. Otherwise, I think it's meant to do that. Well, let me explain what's happening. The dishwasher is running, and this is obviously like your, I don't know what, air, I don't know air, what it is. Air, air, air relief. Right, but we're getting a full on drinking fountain going from here, and we don't know what part of the line is like messed up. Like, look. Because it was bubbling. I mean, we've got, like. It was bubbling over with that on, right? Yeah. Okay, then but that's a he problem. he took this little cap off, and it was, like, up so here. A fountain. Freak. Yeah, yet another problem in our kitchen and in our oh, house. Shit, shit. One more. Bubbling? No, it's not yet. Okay, let's just end our night, because I'm done. Yeah, I'm going to work out. Get huge. I can't with him tonight. <laughs> I just can't. I'm tired. Uh... It was a good day though. Thank you for joining us, me mainly. You know, that's how my days go, but it is called Dana Creates, so I am the star of the show. <laughs> but take care you guys. Let me know in the comments below if you guys try this recipe. I know if you're not here in the US, you might not have the same brand, but I guarantee you have the same products. You have like a hot sauce or and you have cheese and tortilla shells and all that kind of stuff. So let me know in the comments below if you either have tried them before from scratch or are willing to try it and let me know later how you like them. So anyway, take care and have a good night.